Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your end of the month reading. Okay, so the, but this energy can go for the end of the month until you know whenever. I don't know um, if it's happening to you now or it has already. Um, let's jump into it. Oh, thank you to all who like, share, comment, subscribe, request personal readings. It means a lot. All right. So. Aries, um, the cards in regards to love, they want you to find emotional satisfaction within yourself. You might be putting a little too much energy, thoughts behind a particular relationship or situationship or whatever person. It says in order to get what you want. You have to withdraw and work on yourself and really come to terms why it is you you may overly um, be involved in this. And the person is kind of withdrawn here or not giving you any attention, any attraction. They're not, or, or traction more so. There's no traction here. You, you can't gain any footing with this person. Maybe you're not even responding. I mean, they're not even responding to you if you, if you, if, maybe the response are, is delayed. If you do communicate with them or you're not getting the response that you are expecting that you want with this person, okay? Uh, it says if you withdraw from this, you'll be able to have a sharp mind, be clear about any new start with this particular person or anybody else, you'll be able to um, really emotionally articulate what it is you want. And you'll be able to act in that. Some of you might even have this person come back to you because um, they are soulmate, twin flame, or whatever you want to deem it as. But this, this has to pause. There, there has to be a pause in the relationship, in the connection. This person may already have kind of withdrawn from you, or you're not getting the responses that you want from them. You're not getting the attention that you used to get. This is not because of you. This is not, don't look at it in a selfish way. This is because this person has to figure out something in their own lives. Some of you are dealing with people who are already attached, whether it be by way of marriage or just a long-term commitment. You guys can't come together with this person because there's interference, outside influence, whether it's other people or it's just that there is another person involved in this. Right now, it's unwise for you to push what you want, your agenda, your feelings, basically your agenda on this person or on this relationship. Because if you do that, you're going to end up in despair, feeling lost, feeling hope, hopeless. Some of you, the cards are cautioning you that maybe you might be dealing with somebody that is, um, they're taken, and they're in that place right now of being taken, and they have no intention of getting out of that relationship, just not right now. Um, and if you keep after this person, this relationship, um, you're going to be greatly disappointed. You'll always feel left out. There's an element of perfect timing here. If maybe spirit, God, universe, whatever you call it, bringing you two back together. But it, it's not happening on your timetable, in your time frame. They want you to withdraw just like this other person is withdrawing or, or has withdrawn so that you can start to rebuild your own self and work on you know, work on yourself 
in terms of why are you so so vested? Why? You need to be able to answer those questions. If you can't answer them or superficial answers, then that's what spirit is trying to get you to understand. Some of you, there's an outright message for some of you who are dealing with a married person. Um, the cards are saying, this person does this a lot. Meet people, meet women, men, whatever. And um, they have no intention of any foundation here. Because look, they already have their foundation. Right? Um, they're already taken. Or, or this is you, Aries, man. It looks like a man here. You may start relationships knowing that you you already have a wife or, or a husband or what. I don't, I can't keep up with the sexual orientation. I don't know. Um, you already have someone significant. So there's no plan of um, making anything solid. And there's no end to it. You you feel like, you know, um, this is what you do within your marriage. Aries woman, it looks like if you're dealing with an, a married man, all it's going to lead to is the five of pentacles. You're feeling despair, once again, left out. Because this person is not single. And they're not going to honor any commitment with you. Okay? So yeah, that's love. I don't know why it sucks. Um, well, not not for all of you. Um, I guess those of you who are dealing with individuals that have made commitment elsewhere, the best advice of the cards is to break away from that because it's just not going to lead you to anything foundational. Um, those of you who are dealing with someone who you had a history with, or whether it was significant or short-lived you might want to kind of dive head first into the relationship but the cards are cautioning you to say hey back away from this and ask yourself the, the tough the hard questions do you really even want this there might even be opportunity for you and this person to come back around in the near future not right now okay so um moving on so i hope it resonated um a career and finance the cards are um, very clear. Um, oh, wow. I just heard flight risk. Um, I don't know what that means for some of you. If some people say that about you, you are a flight risk. But the cards are saying, I guess they're saying it because here, they want the Aries person to focus on the new establishment, the new business, the new job. Yeah, it's not enough for you just to have the idea, but it's about bringing it to fruition, having a successful project completion. And the only way they say that you're going to do that is if you withdraw. Once again, you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but you already know how to get this and make it work and make it happen. It says that if you want to have long-term stability, you need to be focused, courageous, take those necessary steps. Take no, do not take no for an answer. So that some of you may be up against institutions or institutions, whether it be government, governmental or um, just corporation, maybe. You're having the community, either your job is related to communicating with other small businesses that talk to a larger corporation. I don't know. Um, but what the cards say is that 
if if the new establishment is in is at all related to talking to a larger entity um do not take no for an answer listen to what they have to say um opinions are valid because you know opinions belong to everybody but they're not necessarily true that's what they want you to know because there's going to be the opportunity Someone's going to say to you outright what you need to do. And then you need to focus and actually get it done because this could bring in some long-term financial stability for you. Okay? So they're pretty clear in that. It's like they're saying you're hoping, you're wishing, you're praying for a newness, but you don't stay with it or stay... There's no stability, you know, you, you, the flight risk. Um, some of you, the job may in, involve children or a child or working with children. The gift from the universe is the child or to work with children. Some of you are having problems uh, with fertility. It says the gift is the child. It will come in the distant horizons. But keep hope, keep faith alive for this new opportunity, new job, new baby, newness. But you have to stay focused. Flight risk, flight risk. You have, look, if you don't know what that means, look it up. Um, that means something to somebody. I just keep hearing flight risk. I don't know. Um. It looks like you're going to have success and help in your business. It might come specifically from a gentleman. I don't know if it's a love interest, but someone is going to either offer you that, that good word that you need, or they, or they may offer outright assistance, you know, financial assistance. Some of you, you want to a new business and you want newness and a new job, but you're having a hard time parting with the old one. You're torn. Do I, do I let this good paying job go and go into something new and all my own and it's all on me and all the responsibility? And then, you know, then this is definitely about a new business or a new venture. The idea of a new business, a new venture, makes you restless in your current position. But you're going to have to get pretty stable on what it is you want to do. Once again, focus. Focus and direction. All right. Moving on to, well, good, I guess we'll jump back into love. Um... What you want to say to your person, you've got some cards here. You might want to tell them that uh, you are beautiful, okay? Very, very nice. You may want to say to them, this is just about the sex, okay? We'll clarify this one. So that is the me for a loop. Also, I want to add, this is the third time. I tried to do your reading. I tried to do it yesterday, and the and it is like my brain was so foggy. I just couldn't see what was going on in your car, so I just pulled them all up and said, "I'll do it tomorrow." Anyway, you want to say to your person, "So what? I lied. I'm a narcissist. I don't know." I'm feeling like this is my Aries man. The will clarify. What your the person the person of interest in your world wants to say to you is if you call, text, I will answer. See, because they're not reaching out. 
they're not giving you the attention that you used to get from them, but they, but they are acknowledging you. So it's a difference from which came in reverse attention and attraction versus acknowledgement, you know? Um, so this person is acknowledging you, but not giving you what you used to have with them. They're also saying, please work with me. Okay. Um, they're also saying, look, hey, I give you money. That should be enough. Some of you who are dealing with someone who's already partnered, married, they just don't have space in their heart, in their mind, in their world for you. So they can only give you what is available to give. And it, and it, it might just be money. It might just be sex. I don't know. Only you know. Someone is saying, look, I'm having financial issues. I can't focus on love. Because for some of you, your person could be going through a divorce. The divorce shell here. Something is hidden from you. Somebody's not telling you everything, or you're not telling somebody else everything. Job, a new job uh, or business here. And then we have spiritual. Um, we need to be more spiritual. We need to be less spiritual about this connection or this new business. And you need to be more practical, you know, more logical. What is and what isn't. We still live on the earthly realm, so we have to be practical at times. All right, so to, oh, sorry, let me do that. Uh, to close this out, you have a new job. Some of you have a new job. Okay, which is good. Some of you, that I was mentioning earlier, for, maybe even for some of my male areas, they could go for the women too, I don't know. Um, someone is saying, I sleep around. Some days I find nothing wrong with this. And some days I need help. So you could be dealing with somebody like that. Or this is you. No judgment over here. Somebody is asking, did you ever love me? Um, with this separation, somebody's questioning. They're all up in their thoughts about this situation. So. They have several questions. And the cards are asking you to set yourself up apart from giving so much to this and ask those questions. Or, yeah. Someone is saying, I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, but I want you to. Yeah, this is, um, I won't even beat the dead horse. Um, you know. You know, you know your life. And this is like for some of you out there who are dealing with married individuals. This is, I mean, the cards are cautioning you or someone who's just not available for what they're saying. You should probably run away from them. They, they don't have anything to offer. Um, if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Tell me about it, you know. Send me an email. Tell me all about the craziness. No, please don't. Um, I get enough of those emails. Um, where are we in time? I can't see. I'm going to pull from the practical witch's spell deck. So because I feel like some of you need to clear energy and do just a little lighthearted spell for yourself, okay? And what I will do is, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to post this spell and I'm going to, you know, label it Aries reading so you can actually, I'm going to take a picture of the card, post the spell so you can actually take part in it. Um, all right, so what spell should Aries be focused on right now?
All right, so spell in a cup. All right, so you see there's so many words here. Uh, I'm not going to read verbatim what this is about, but this is pretty much about how you start your day and your, your daily routine and ritual. Um, it's just about uh, basically brewing a tea and drinking this tea, and it helps you, once again, focus, because some of you need to focus. Some of you, flight risk. All right? Um, I'm here one more, one more spell for, oh, and it fell off to the floor. Okay. I can't get it. Here we go. Wow. And then I say that, I said you guys need to clear some of your energy. So this is called... Um, space clearing incense. So it says this is um, a mixture of essence to purify your home and your working space. Maybe that's why you guys are not focused because the working space isn't clear. So it just gives you, and these are all like natural stuff to do, sandalwood, sage, frankincense, and it tells you how to use it. So I'm going to post that for you guys. Okay, um, this is it. Um, Aries, have a really good rest of the month. You have your homework, focus, withdraw. Take care, guys. All links are below if you want to book your own reading so you can pull your own energy to just be sure if this is what you should be focused on or just to drill down and get more specific for you. Um, also take advantage of the text question. You can text your question to, um, the number below, receive the answer to your question, uh, via the Tarot, uh, all on your mobile device. You can pay for your question, receive the answer via text on your mobile device. Take advantage of it. All right. Thank you guys. Keep in mind, this is a business line. It is not my personal cell phone. I'm not always looking at this. This is not my number. I would not put my number out there to some people. But not you, but to some people. Um, take care, guys. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.